Ever wondered how Facebook measures the impact and effectiveness of campaigns? This video explains the foundation of our approach, experimental design. When running a campaign, how can you know what's really driving performance? You can look at correlation, which shows a relationship between two or more things, or you can look at causation, which helps you pinpoint exactly what's driving a result. At Facebook, our goal is to help marketers see how ads impact business results. To do that, we use something called experimental design, which works to isolate the cause of your ad's impact, not the correlation. Here's how it works. In an experiment, we randomly assign people to either a test or a control group. These two groups are the same in every way, except one. People in the test group will have the opportunity to see your ads, while those in the control group will not. At the end of the campaign, we go back and compare results based on your objective. Did the test group buy more than the control group? Did the test group demonstrate greater brand recall? The differences we measure help give marketers a clearer picture of how your Facebook ads performed. As part of the test, we also use something called intent to treat to account for the ways the Facebook ads auction optimizes ads and can affect measurement outcomes. Ordinarily, the auction will show your ads to those most likely to react positively. This is great for people and businesses, but for the purposes of experimental design, it creates bias and eliminates the randomization among the audiences. In order to eliminate the bias created by delivery optimization, we use what's known as an intent to treat experimental setup. Intent to treat looks at everyone in the test group who could have been exposed to ads, allowing Facebook to maintain the randomization and equivalence of the test and control group to give you the most accurate, unbiased results possible. For more information on Facebook measurement tools, please reach out to your Facebook representative.